Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you'd like to start PowerPoint and create a quick presentation that doesn't require much customization and still looks good, then you may want to start with a new presentation created from the Auto Content Wizard. You can launch the Auto Content Wizard from the New Presentation view of the task pane by just clicking the From Auto Content Wizard hyperlink. The Auto Content Wizard option will step you through a series of questions prompting you to fill in the answers. And from the information that you input, it will then create a dummy presentation that you'll be able to customize with your own particular information used in your presentation. However, this way you won't have to concentrate on the appearance of your presentation, and you can just focus on the content instead. So this is an excellent way for beginners to start with PowerPoint. When you create a new presentation, you're going to be asked a series of questions to which you'll have to make necessary responses. In the wizard, you can click the Next button to proceed to the next screen when you've read any information or answered any prompts on the current screen. When you're all finished, just click the Finish button to create your new presentation. This will basically create a basic presentation with fake content, and then it will give you suggestions with that content that you'll then replace with your own. So for example, here on this introduction slide, the first bullet point defined the subject matter. You could click and drag over it, either in the slide itself, or over here in the outline view, and make your change. So this is a great way to just start if you're not quite comfortable with PowerPoint yet. Now the process for completing the Auto Content Wizard really hasn't changed much from 97 through 2003. In 97 you have an extra step of output options and this step is simply encapsulated in the presentation style section in the 2003 XP and 2000 versions. And the biggest difference is just knowing how to start the Auto Content Wizard in each. In 97, you simply select the Presentations tab of the New Presentation dialog box, and then double-click on the Auto Content Wizard icon. And the process is nearly identical in 2000. In 2003 and XP, what you do is you click on the From Auto Content Wizard choice in the New Presentation task pane. Now the Auto Content Wizard is fairly easy to navigate, even for the most computer-challenged individuals. At the left side of the dialog box, you'll see a graphical representation of what the process of completing the Auto Content Wizard looks like from start to finish. The concept is to answer the questions in all of the boxes between the start and finish. You can click on each one to select them, or you can use the Next button to move from screen to screen. The first one is your presentation type, and the presentation type allows you to select the type of presentation you're going to give. You can see the different categories of them listed in the left side of this pane. So general, corporate, all. You then select the type that you're going to do, and then click next, or click the next box. The presentation style asks what type of output you'll use, on-screen presentation, web presentation, which makes web pages, black and white overheads, color overheads, or 35 millimeter slides. Most of the time we're doing on-screen presentation, but your choice could vary. You'd select it there and then click Next. And in Presentation Options, you simply put in your presentation title and items to include on each slide in the footer. So maybe your company name or your name. Also, do you want the date it was last updated? and the slide number on each page. And then you would click Next. You're all done, so you could click Finish. However, notice if you wanted to change your mind about an answer you'd given, you could click Back to go backwards and make a different choice. If at any point you just wish to abort the process, you can click the Cancel button. 
So really, using the Auto Content Wizard is all you need to get a great head start on a finished presentation. Also, PowerPoint gives you tips on how you might want to present the information in the actual Auto Content Wizard result. So the presentation itself is an outline of what that type of presentation would normally contain. And of course, all we need to do is edit it to make the dummy content fall in line with our own content. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.